Hi guys, Judy here. I'm I'm in, in really good spirits because I'm hearing birds for the first time since this started. It is Friday the 13th, October. And um, I got up, I actually went to yoga. It was just really weird to drive around town. It's just like a desolate land full of fire, very few cars. Um, I'll probably make a video and just kind of show you that. Um, I think that everything I've been being shown by God is that this is it. And um, he takes us up out of the fire. That's why I really think he showed me that I'd be breathing the breath of heaven. Because I'm not quite breathing heaven yet, but I'm I'm okay. Like I I'm okay, and um, I'm gonna go pick up the air purifiers right now that that were delivered wholesale to this company that only gives to businesses, and I got a good connection. So we'll get those going in the house. And I I went to yoga, like I said, and and people were sad. It was it was hard. There were people just crying and stuff, and um, had their heads down. It was very somber, very different different but i just felt like the lord was like just you need to get up and go do breathe and just lay there because we me and jesus we love we love to do yoga together and, and, and so he really wanted to take me out to do that so i did and that's that's today i know you guys want updates we're fine like god had promised that, that like the Passover, like I told you, the Passover, you put the blood on the doorpost and the tragedy will pass over you. It's from the Old Testament. And that is exactly what has happened. And there's carnage and death and stench all around. And we are in a little safe haven like he showed me a safe zone of his glory and his power and his peace. And nothing of ours has been touched, um, but things have been given away because God loves people and he wants to help them in their time of need. Um, I still have a bunch of peanut butter and jelly and 15 loaves of bread in the trunk of my car that I was supposed to be using at the high school this week, but no, no high school uh, in session. So I'm, I heard that some campgrounds are open now for people to go to. So I think that's a good place to set up and make sandwiches for people. But I don't know. We're going to be led by the Lord on exactly what time we do that. Because honestly, God has really wanted, has, you know, doing some things here and there. But he's been really wanting to talk to me and tuck me away and give me some deep rest. So that's what's been that in between other stuff. He's been doing that. So that intimacy is the most important. That's what everything that the Lord does wants to do comes out of it. You know, it's tempting in situations like this to want to run out and do a ton of stuff and put, get a bullhorn and start preaching. And I, I will, but not yet. It's like, I have to get complete direction from him because see, it's not, we're not human doings. We're human beings. And we, we walk and we talk and there was many opportunities. Jesus could have preached and done things, but he was with the father. He, he only spoke and did things as God was leading him. And believe me, my flesh is so anxious to do more than what I've done, but it's, it's just that fine tuning. There's that relationship and just hearing what God's saying. Okay. So our house is a complete mess. We had people over, um, telling us their, their story. They lost everything, a lot of different things here and there, but the house is a complete pigsty. I need to go grocery shopping. I need to vacuum and just clean. You know how you, you just ha it's just because everything was turned up in our lives on Monday. We have almost had to, well, we evacuated Monday, but having to grab things and not knowing. So there's just stuff everywhere. It's just a big mess. And so I, he wants me to do that today. Um, and uh, we've not even gone to the beach yet. And I've heard that the beaches are packed. People are just going to the beaches because... They need fresh air. A lot of people have asthma, as do I. But the Lord is causing me to breathe good. It's, it's pretty cool. You can hear my lungs. The yoga helped. Um, it's just smelling smoke is just gets old. And it's just, you can see it's just so dark out there. It's it's the daytime. And look at that smoke. That's just, that's just looking out my window here. Um, so I love you guys. Um, I'm... I just want you to know I'm okay. Just like what God promised. Everything's fine. We're okay. But I'm not going to lie that this is... Uh, okay, so there are three fires 
we have not been told to evacuate, but we're supposed to be at the ready um, because there are still three fires burning in a firewall. So it's making it extra smoky and many people have had to evacuate right all around us. All around us, people have had to evacuate, but this little hub here hasn't had to yet. And it's just the glory of God. It's exactly what he promised me. This will pass over you, but he, he let me know. And I think you've heard in my other videos, this, this place, California is going to burn. We're going up out of the burn. We're going to be going in the rapture, guys. And so um, the school district situation does not look good. The school district that I am in has lost seven schools and there's smoke damage and there are trees down from that crazy windstorm and they will not open up until they have things in place. So if we're here, I'm likely not going to have school for the next couple of weeks. Um, and we'll just see how God does that. So I'm not worried because I know the Lord's in charge. I've been tested before in areas that get a little scary. And in some areas I'm, I have a lot of faith for. Some areas I'm still growing in, okay? We all are. And, and so I give myself grace. And I just, I'm just, you know, God's not mad at me if I freak out every now and then, okay? I've never been faced with a situation where he told me to stay still like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and not move. And then literal, I see fire, okay? So that, I didn't run. I stayed when he told me to stay. And I, and it's, it was good. So I, I made it. But I'm not going to tell you I didn't have a breakdown and I wasn't, I wasn't upset, okay? So, um... This, I, I'm still staying. Um, they've asked people if you can leave, you should, because this air is beyond unhealthy. It's, 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 it, this, these particles in your lungs, they just sit there. So you, um, we've been wearing our N95 masks and you have to keep replacing them because what happens is they, they get full and then you feel like you're suffocating. Once that happens, you know that it's time to replace. So I've gone through a couple. It's just, um, and so I, I feel bad for the animals cause they need to get out and get exercise. Um, but you know, God's taking care of them. I, I would love to get my dog to the ocean, but the traffic and the crowds and no parking, it's just not something I want to be sitting in. And so we'll just stay put. I got to get the house in order today because if I go up in the rapture, today you know someone can come in here and 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 feel peace and I also feel like God told me to make it smell good yes you are a little sweetheart aren't you yeah yeah God says clean it <laughs> I love you you're my friend you're my best friend what else is Jesus coming is he coming he is coming, huh? He's coming to take away his bride. Up out of the birth pangs. Yes, he is, huh? Is Jesus coming? <laughs> Marty, he's coming, huh? Oh, man. Yeah, so... Oh, God is good. He's good. He's always good. He's never bad. And we stay put when he tells us to stay. And we go when he tells us to go. And he gave me a clear word before our second scare that I was to stay. And so I have my scripture up on my garage and being a light in a dark place, creating a safe haven. And that's what he's told me I've done so far. Because I I feel a little bit bad. I'm like, God, I should be doing more. I should be doing more. But he's like, no, you, you, you've created a safe haven. Stay put. Keep my glory right there. Carry it right there. So, um, yeah. I love you guys and be wary of donating to the Red Cross and different donate. You know, people need direct help. And Aaron from Redeem 44 got a hold of me and told me that people asked how I was and how could they give to me. So he put a PayPal for me out there, but I'm not asking people came to him. Okay. I'm not asking. Um, I'm not in need yet. I just got my paycheck and I was able to pay all my bills and have stuff left over for groceries. So, so that's okay. Okay. And I've, and so, but if God's telling you to give, then I'll, I'll receive it because he told me not to turn down if people come to me, but I'm not asking. Okay. So I just want to make that clear. I told Aaron, make that video, make that very clear that, that that's what you're doing. Cause he asked me if he could make a video. Um, and so I work hard for my money. I give the gospel for free. I don't beg for money. Jesus is my provider. I believe in working with the gifts he's given you. And I also believe that it's scriptural if you're a full-time you know, minister to receive 
donations as the Lord does that. So I, I don't, I, I, but I, I, I work and I, I like doing that and I like being able to give and to have enough for my family and then to give, you know, so I just want to tell you that, but I, I might not, I don't get paid for this week. I, I don't get paid if we're gone for the next few weeks. So like if God's telling you what like Aaron told me, he want people wanted to give, then I will receive that with joy and gratitude because I will save it up. If we're here, if we're here now, some people want to give directly to people in need. And even if it's just five or $10, if you go to the PayPal, that's on Aaron's video, that's mine. Um, and you designate when you give the money, say, I want this to go directly to a family in need. Then I will go buy gift certificates to grocery stores and target and stuff like that. And I will give those out. Okay. If you want to do that, I'm happy to do that. Um, it wasn't even my idea. It came to me. People like that happened this morning before I went to yoga. So I'm happy to do that. You guys. Um, so if you are giving and God told you to give, then you designate it on the PayPal. This goes to Judy and her family, or this goes to uh, victims that lost their homes and everything. Cause we do know people We've had them in our living room. We've made them brownies and given them milk and given what we have away. Okay. And my sister, <laughs> she's funny. She got a little happy in giving stuff. I'm like, wait, did you give that away? Cause like I, I needed that. <laughs> it's okay. But it's like, it's okay. I, <laughs> you know, you want to help people. So you just, you just give them everything you got. And then you're like, well, wait, oops, I needed one of those. You know, <laughs> it's okay. I'm not planning on being here for very long, honestly. I, I'm going to stay in California. He told me to stay here in the fire. I will not move until he says move. He told me he wanted me to stay and carry his glory to this area. I had a very clear word in my flesh. I would like to go. Um, I'm not going to lie. And I would like to leave. Um, this is gross. But I don't go by my flesh. I go by the spirit. And I love the Lord. And I love being in a danger zone and, and full of his glory and excitement. So I'm staying. It's just, he needs to keep my lungs good and he needs to keep my heart rested and then I can go do what he needs me to do. And he's doing that. He made me sleep. I got some deep rest yesterday and, and, oh, I needed it. I feel like a million dollars today. So with that energy that I have, I need to go run some errands and, and clean, scrub this house and get it ready in case other people are coming. And, um, I love you guys. Uh, a lot of, Teachers, 50 teachers in the school district lost everything. Um, I'm getting reports that are coming in and yeah, it's, it's just everything. It's not just, it's every, everything. It's not just school districts. It's, that's just what I know because that's what I do, but it's bad. It's really, really, really bad, but God is good and he did this and he's going to continue to do it. It's going to continue to burn and people need to wake up and see that the glory of the Lord is upon his brides and the brides in California are going to shine and they're going to be untouched by this. And they are going to tell people that the Lord's coming and they're finally going to listen because they're desperate and they're poor and they've lost everything. And that's when a lot of people listen to the message of God. And I'm planning on giving that message. I'm always telling people the Lord's coming, but you know, most people just laugh at you, but Hey, they'll probably listen now. And, and they are listening and, and, and that's good. And wake up California, wake up. Babylon, wake up United States. You're the first nation to be judged according to a 10 year old prophet. I believe that with my whole heart. As soon as the, the next headline is going to be the rapture, the fires will, will be nothing compared to the next headline. And once that rapture happens, judgment begins. This is not God's judgment. Again, this is just a birth pang. Tis but a birth pang. I laugh and tell myself that all the time. Oh, it's just a birth pang. Just relax. <laughs> you know, it's just a birth pang. <laughs> And, and it makes me laugh and Jesus is good and he loves you and he loves me. And, um, I do appreciate your prayers. I'm coveting them more than ever. I, for strength, for peace, for health and for joy so that I can stand here and joylessly, or I'm sorry, and joyfully. <laughs> I didn't have a lot of joy on Tuesday. I'm not going to lie. Uh, and joyfully proclaim the Lord's goodness in the midst of the flames. Okay. Literally. So I, I thank you for that because I feel like it's building up to something really big. I just haven't been able to do that yet because he hasn't let me. But I will grab a bullhorn when he says grab the bullhorn, trust me. Now it's just little pockets of glory here and there. And it's it's been it's been good. My son's ready for whatever too. We're ready. We're, but we're staying. We're staying in the fire. And we're, we're, we're declaring the glory of the Lord as smoke is all around us. 
Three fires are right next to us. We haven't had to evacuate, but they're still burning. That's the latest. That's not pretty. It's not good. This is far from